it's no makeup day today. It's just get my gear on. I figured, you know what? I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. I've been trying to do more edited videos better quality, you know, all that kind of stuff, but it's just not working because I don't have the time to sit at the computer. So TikTok, you guys are going to be ahead of the curve on everything. Let me show you what I have been up to and what I am doing. So I've been cleaning up garden beds, but yesterday I re-graveled the um, back patio and set up those chairs we redid last year. Then I dug up a lot of strawberries and I cleared this whole entire path from the parsley, the strawberries, the weeds, everything. I did this path <sighs> and re-graveled it. Then this is my project that I'm working on right now. I am terracing this bank right here, just a couple tall of bricks. It's only, I think it's three or four bricks tall. Um, and then I'm gonna do another row and then I'm gonna totally redesign this whole area. That'll probably be next year. But right now what I am doing, oh, that sweet lady friend of mine has been giving me carloads of stuff. And the reason she's been giving me carloads is that she moved. She finally moved. I've talked about her a couple, many, many times. However, she knows that I want to pay my house off. So she called me up and she says, why don't I give you everything? You go through it, figure out what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of and what you want to sell. And you can use the money of everything that I've given you that you sell to pay towards your house. And I'm like, yes, please. Isn't that so sweet? And now I'm not a person that likes to sell things. I really don't. So I'm going to start a marketplace page um, in my local area. And I'm just going to put it up for a couple bucks. Um, there are some artistic pieces that I think mm, I need to do some research on. But anyways, that's what I've got going there. With that being said, these pieces came from her and I'm going to be spray painting these. I'll probably turn them black, but this one is amazing. I've already been using this. I've been putting together these really cool um, hooks and planter bases. And going through all of these things, it's like buckets and buckets of stuff that she has that I've been going through and separating. And when I say a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of stuff. I can barely even walk in my shop. My shop has been turned into a staging area. That's causing a little bit of stress, but she was also a crafter. So I've got a ton of crates that she bought because she was going to paint them and use them, but she's never did anything with them. She just sweet. So, and buckets, bins, everything, water purifier. I'm going to, we are going to be going through this. I have a feeling like I'll, we could just do lives and go through all this. Lots of silicone bakeware. I don't need all of that. Look at this, like old fashioned. It's for your clothespins in case people don't know. On top of that, I have been testing a shredder chipper and, oh, let me tell I did the pricing on this and I figured if I could get 50 to 65 bags, because it's got a bag, it's got bags, 50 to 65 of these bags, it would pay for itself in wood chips. I'm not counting my, um, my time because yeah, my time is just it. Now I have been cleaning out my garden and all of the old blackberry vines that I've been pulling out, I have been chipping up and putting back into my garden as mulch. So far I have gotten... 22 bags still going great still going great i'm loving this i'll share more on that later i want to make sure i like it um and there are some pros and cons on it but right now right now i'm taking out all of the tarps that i've been uncovering and when i take them out when i uncover furniture that i stored all winter i take them out to the front drive and sweep them off clean them up fold them up and label what they were for and put the ropes and everything with them. That way, when fall comes, it'll be really easy for me to undo it, wrap everything up, and I won't have to think about it. Not only that, a good book on tape and you know, gotcha. Oh, and I showed you my walnut guild. Yeah, oh, and I have a garden friend, a gardener friend of mine. He uh, brought over a goji berry yesterday, so, 
I will be having to figure out how to plant that. And this is one of the areas that I cleared a month ago, and it's already got blackberries everywhere. But this is the goji berry. Yeah. So there you go. That's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? Huh. Oh, I've also been canning and, you know, just catching up, catching up on all the stuff we got to do on a homestead. It never ends. It never ends, you guys. I hope you're having a good day out there. I got to get to sweeping this. Okay, my tarps are, and ropes are all set for next winter, for next fall. I picked up two trees. There's an apricot here and a peach here. And I probably should show you what has been going on. I have been exchanging a lot of plants with a retired organic gardening friend of mine that's a couple miles down the road. Let me show you what we've got going. I have a greenhouse full of starts of his and onions I need to plant, eggplants. Oh, and I've been um, refurbishing all of my, oh, those are the, you'll see a video on this, grafting apple trees, and you'll see several of my apple trees look like they're taking to the graft. They're doing pretty good. I've got tarragon that I'm getting out of out into the garden again. It overwintered, and I've got a new wintergreen he brought me. Isn't that cool? But pepper plants, I didn't know he put those in there. And a whole bunch of tomatoes. Oh, better boy. I haven't even looked at any of these. Yeah. And all the strawberries that I rescued from yesterday's work, I put in these Dollar Tree planters, and I've been rescuing mint and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, to figure out where I'm going to put this in there. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to help me go through this and um, figure out what I'm gonna sell and what I'm gonna keep. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna have to help me. Okay, now time to get that chipper shredder down to where I need it to go. It's electric, so all I need to do is throw a power cord and wherever I have weeded and taken out all of the wooded debris, I just send through the chipper and put it back on the ground. It is, so far, amazing with some issues. Oh, here's that parsley. So excited. Egyptian walking onions. So excited. So excited. So excited.